Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to show you this milk bath nail design. They are floating around everywhere at the moment and I did a poll on my Instagram asking if you would like to see milk bath nails or the Fimo, Fimo, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, fruit slices and milk bath nails one. So here goes, this is my first time doing them. However, it was really, really fun today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I basically mixed CJP Snow White and Crystal Glass together to create a milky translucent white. And I've just applied a thin base layer of that. So I've got a nice even background for my petals. I then just picked a bunch of flowers and petals from my garden. I was hoping to pick some more smaller flowers that I could keep intact um, but I just couldn't find too many of those in my garden so I managed to get a couple and some um, some different colour petals and some green bits and stuff like that so I'm just applying a thin wet beads of acrylic and then pushing the flowers into that just so I can get them as flat as possible I haven't dried these out they are still fresh I know there are some designs where people have used fresh flowers and some designs where people have used dried flowers personally I think both looks look equally as nice um, but I didn't have as many dried flowers that would suit the style of this so I just went with the fresh ones so I'm basically just going to pop them down and try and create a design that flows now application wise I think this design is pretty easy to do but I did feel it was a little tricky working out where to put the petals so that the design did flow but it was my first attempt and I was super happy with how it come out and I'm looking forward to doing a few more. I think they'd look really nice as a French tip. I don't know if I'd want a full set of milk bath nails but maybe like an accent nail and a French tip could be really cool. So yeah, I'm hopefully going to have a play around and see what I can come up with. So as you can see, just that same process, wet bead of acrylic, pop the petal on and flatten it out. Don't worry if you can't get it too flat. I will show you what I did further on to get them nice and flat. So I didn't want to cover the complete nail um, with the flowers, but I did want a fair bit to be on there. So I decided to come in with some green stem like pieces as well um, just to really tie in the look. So I hope you're all enjoying these kind of videos on a Friday. Um, I did feel like I'd done something a little bit different by popping it up on my Instagram poll as then um, I feel like I'm doing a video that people actually want to see. So if you aren't already following me on Instagram, I'll leave it linked in the description box. So please head on over and give me a follow. And if you do create any, sorry, if you do create any milk bath nails, then do tag me in them so I can see. So here I'm just coming in with the backing of a sculpting form. So you know, like that backing paper. And I'm just using the shiny side of it to really press down on those nails and press them into that acrylic that you've set them with. This just helped make sure they were like lying as flat as possible so that when it comes to capping, you don't file into any sticking up. And I'm then gonna come in with that white mixture and just create the rest of the nail. Um, yeah, so basically just creating what would be the milk in your milk bath. So you don't want to cover the whole design or I didn't want to cover, sorry, I didn't want to cover all of the petals. Um, you just basically want to fill in areas. I felt like this made it look like so there was pieces sticking up out of the bath and things like that. So I'm just filling in all of the gaps first of all and then just blending it out so it does cover the petals slightly. And then I'll just continue doing this until I feel that it's covered enough and I'm happy with how the design looks. I worked in really small 
medium to wet beads. So I didn't want to add too much at once, you know, just because once it's on, it's hard to take off. So just by coming in with small beads, you can really see what you're doing and get it exactly how you want it to be. And then once this is all done, I will cap it in clear acrylic. So I'll just continue and let you guys watch this bit and I'll pop back in soon. So I just wanted to say I didn't have any problems using fresh flowers. I haven't dried them out or anything like that. I literally picked them around an hour before using them. So most of them stayed the same colour except for the purpley one that was down near the cuticle. As you can see it turned like a brown colour but nothing too major. I'm not sure if maybe drying them out would make them hold their colour more um, as I do think it's the monomer that affects the colour in them. So I'm then coming in and capping them now in crystal glass. So I've placed that first bead down, pulled down the side walls, and then I'm just patting it into place. Um, I capped this nail in three beads and then I just added a little bit more where it needed due to the length. So I'm coming in with my second bead again, making sure to blend out the back of it, pulling down the side walls and then pulling down the front of the bead. I just feel when I'm doing a longer nail, I get a better structure on apex if I do it this way. But everyone caps or does nails in their own way. So it is all about whatever works for you. So I then come in with my cuticle bead, making sure that the cuticle is nice and flush. And then I just went and had a little look and see that, you know, there wasn't as enough apex and it was as, you know, it wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. So I just come in with another small bead of acrylic basically down the centre of that nail. And then I noticed there was a tiny, tiny little bit of the green sticking up here. So I just come in and encapsulated that as the last thing you want to do is file into the flowers. So then off camera, I have filed, shaped, buffed, cleaned away all the dust. And this is what the design looks like. And it's now all ready for top coating. So today I'm using the Premier Gel High Shine No Wipe Top Coat. So I'm going to top coat it now and this is where this design absolutely comes to life. And then I'm going to pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And that guys is pretty much the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, then please give the video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you did. I shall see you all again soon. Bye-bye.